We begin with the story now gaining national attention. The armed security guard shot and killed by police. But the question remains, why? CBS 2's V. Wynn is live at the Midlothian police station where people will, will be demanding answers today. Hi, V. Hey there, Marissa and Aaron. Things are quiet here now at the police department for now, but that won't be the case in a few hours. The organizer of the protest tells me that people in the community are outraged by what happened and they want the officer held accountable for the death of Jamel Roberson. This affects our whole community. We are devastated and we want accountability. Eric Russell's the president of the Tree of Life Justice League. He and several other community groups and faith-based leaders are planning to meet at the police department at 3 to voice their concerns and to stand in solidarity with Roberson's family and friends. Witnesses say Roberson was armed and was holding down a man after shots were fired into the bar when an officer shot him. It happened Sunday morning at Manny's Luxury Lounge in Robbins. Since then, the mayor has ordered the closure of the bar for the time being, pending the investigation by state police. Roberson's family has also filed a federal civil rights lawsuit against the village of Midlothian and the unnamed officer calling the shooting unprovoked, unjustified, excessive and unreasonable. The medical examiner ruled Roberson's death a homicide and said he died from multiple gunshot wounds. He represented the very best of our community. He had hopes and dreams and aspirations. He was an accomplished gospel musician. This, this is a young man who helped us as a community prepare our spirit for worship. Now, we still don't know how long it's going to take state police to conduct its independent investigation. State police say so far this year there's been eight cases of officer-involved shootings investigated by the Public Integrity Task Force. Reporting live from Midlothian, V1 CBS 2 News. Erin, back to you. V, 